Hello. So we'll do the demo. Who prepared the? Huh? Sige na, let's do the ano, the demonstration. Hello, Doc. Trying oh. to get in for free, Dr. Alcober. Dr. Alcober is not around yet? Not here? He's trying to get in now po. I'll see you. Okay, so we'll just wait. Good afternoon, Dr. San Gabriel and classmates. On behalf of Group 4, Dr. Alcober, Alcober will demonstrate the proper way to examine the heart. Take it away, Dr. Alcober. Good afternoon, good afternoon everyone. Good afternoon, Doc. So now I am assessing the patients. Uh, I'm, I'm assessing heart examination. So for the heart examination, I will first inspect the preporium, then palpate for if there are any presence of hips, lips, and then auscultation. Okay. First is inspection, palpation, and then inspection, palpation, and auscultation. Inspection. First, you have to make your patient comfortable. Okay. Okay. Every, can every uh, can you see? Makita sa tanan? Yes, po, Doc. Yes, Doc. Can you see? Yes, Doc. Okay, sige. So, inspection. First is you have to make your patient comfortable. Okay? If your patient is dyspneic, you have to elevate his head at least up to 45 degrees. Okay? And then you have to uncover the, the chest. Expose the chest. Okay. Expose... Can, can we see it here? And it, it dako, yeah. No, no, it's here. Look at the screen share, Gabo. Okay. First is you have to uncover the chest. Expose the chest because you cannot see. You cannot see. Pwede man diri yung maghubo. In the wide hand. You you may not undress your patient. It just trace the shirt up up to the neck. Ah, okay. 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 Uh, usually, your patient will be lying down on bed, huh? Lying down on bed. But I said, if your patient is this neck or orthopnic, you can elevate the head. Okay. Look at the neck. Examination of the heart, you also have to look at the neck because you have to. Part of your examination of the heart is you measure the JVP. You look for neck vein engorgement if there is any neck vein engorgement. You look at the neck if there is any neck vein engorgement. Okay, yeah. And then later on, you have to measure the JVP. Okay. Inspection. During inspection, what you have you want to see is one, are there any abnormal movements in the chest? Is it a dynamic or a dynamic precordium? You look at the precordium. Are there abnormal movements? Is that is it dynamic, hyperdynamic? Okay. And then you look for abnormalities. 
We mentioned before, mga pectus carinatum, pectus excavatum. Diba? And then look for the PMI or the apex bit. PMI or the apex bit. Okay. Okay. Pure ka mo, bed. Kaya dapat, oh, okay. Dapat, your patient should be lying down on bed. And you look, you have to stay at the right side of the patient. At the right side. Right side of the patient. With your patient flat on bed. And then you look. Pangita at PMI. Can you see? Can you identify the PMI? Or the apex bit? We said it is around the vicinity of the fifth intercostal space along the left mid-trabicular line. Okay. Sometimes you cannot see it, but you have to confirm that during palpation. Okay? Okay. If you are able to locate, kung nakikita niyo, if you are able to locate the PMI or the apex bit, you measure it. You measure it the distance from the left mid cavicular line. How many CMs? For example, if it is deviated to the left, how many CMs from the left mid cavicular line? Okay. And then you remember that because that would be written also in your recording. That will be recorded. Okay. That's for inspection. Next is palpation. What are we going to look for? What is the importance of your palpation? One is you have to confirm. One is confirmation of your apex bit. Okay? Can you hear me well? Can you hear me? Yes, good dog. Yes, yes good dog. dog. So, confirmation of the location of your apex bit. Sige, palpate. Keep palpate. You put your hand, no, no, one hand only, your right hand. If you are right-handed, you use your right hand. Okay. You put that on the precordium. Yeah, okay. And then, you inch your hand to the left because you are going to look for your apex bit, your PMI. Okay. We, have men, we have said, left mid-clavicular line along the... Uh, Fifth ICS along the left MCL. Okay. So that is the approximate location of your apex bit. So aada ka mo mapalpate. Slowly inch your hand towards that area looking for your apex bit. You put your hand there. Oh. Put your hand flat on the chest. Ayaw pag ikid ikid. Oh. And then slowly look for you inch towards the left. Inch your hand. You move your hand towards the left. Okay. So try to palpate for the apex bit. Use your fingertip. Use your index finger. Your photo. Okay. So... You have located that kita ah. Is it along the left midclavicular line and fifth ICS? Um, I can say na it is at the midclavicular line and at the fifth intercostal space. Okay. Left, left fifth intercostal space. Okay, sige. Next is you put your hand on the auscultatory areas. Aortic site na po. Aortic? Ginawa na hindi nga mga picture. Ano yan? Excuse me ha. Because there are pictures, pwede yan mag-move towards nga din nga din. Move. Sige pa. Pwede pa pa mag-move yan. Pa-move pa yan. Move nga din. To the front. Move front. Front, front. Ito po daw. Okay. Put your hand on the auscultatory areas. Aortic? Where's your aortic? 
Aortic po. Oh. Aortic. Okay. No. Put your, the, the whole of your palm. The whole of your hand. Ayaw, pangkuan. No. Hand, 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 hand. Palm. Yan. Oh. Put it there. Aortic. You look for any abnormal pulsations, any abnormal movements there. And then you look for thrill. Amo to yung purpose. That's the purpose of your palpation. You locate the PMI. You look You look for hips and thrills. Okay. Aortic and then your pulmonic. Pulmonic. Okay. Put your hand firm, firmly flat on that area. Flat. Okay. And then move towards the herbs, secondary herbs point. Here na po, doc. Herbs point. Er, secondary herbs is at the third intercostal space, left parasternal. Okay. Then, tricuspid. Tricuspid. Okay. And then, mitral. Okay. Mitral area. Nandito na po doon. So, if you are going to look for right ventricular heave, where are you going to put your hand? Um, sa second, uh, second right and fourth intercostal space, left? No. You put that on the tricuspid. Ah, okay. Right parasternal, fourth intercostal space, right parasternal. Nandito okay. na po doon. Oh. If you are going to, you want to look for left ventricular heave, you put your hand along the mitral. Did you have my mitral? Fifth ICS. Mitral, mitral. Dito na po, Dok. Okay. So, a heave will put, will make your hand elevate. Diba? Bukan din po push. As if it is being pushed from beneath, your hand is being pushed for upward from beneath. That's a heave. So if there's a heave on the right ventricular area, fourth, fourth ICS, that's RV heave. Pag adi ka mitra, that's your left ventricular heave. Okay? So mangita kaliwat yung thrill. If you want to look for a thrill, you use the fingertips. Or pwede bugos na mga hand, the whole hand, or you can use your fingertips. Okay. Okay. Your fingertips, you put also on the same areas where you palpated earlier. Aortic, pulmonic, secondary. Tricuspid and mitral. And mitral. Okay. A thrill signifies a murmur. Huh? Signifies a murmur which is Levine's grade 4. Two, six. Okay. So we are through with inspection. We are through with palpation. So palpation, you locate for the apex bit. You locate for hips and thrills. Okay. Hips, left ventricular and right ventricular hip. Okay. Next is auscultation. Okay. You listen for the heart sounds. S1 and S2. You put your stethoscope. You use first the diaphragm. Use the diaphragm. Yes, yes, that's the diaphragm. You put, okay, auscultatory, auscultatory areas again. Aortic? Aortic. Okay. You listen. You listen for the heart sounds. For, for several seconds, no? Siguro mga 10 seconds, you listen. Pamati ini, you, li you listen for the S1 and S2. And then you move towards the pulmonic. Pulmonic. Pulmonic na po do. Okay, pulmonic. Okay, the same area, no? Tapos lower, here, herbs. At the herbs point. Herbs. Herbs point na po do. Uh Oo. -oh. And then tricuspid. Tricuspid. Tricuspid na po. And then mitral. Okay, mitral. So those are the areas that you're going to auscultate. And then after that, the same areas also using your bell. You use the bell. The same areas, yes. Oh, bell, do what? Okay, listen again for the S1 and S2. Okay, 
aortic, pulmonic, secondary herbs, herbs point, tricuspid, and mitral. Mitral. Okay, auscultation, you listen for the heart sounds. S1 and S2 should be distinct. No, what I murmur is normally should be distinct, not no splitting, should be distinct. Okay. Heart rate, heart rhythm. Okay, and look for murmurs. Okay, when you auscultate, excuse me, you auscultate, you count down, when you auscultate, you're counting the heart rate. Okay, see, so you auscultate. You count the heart rate for one minute. Okay, at the same time, you palpate for the pulse. Palpate for the pulse. Okay. You palpate for the pulse. Okay, so for, for one whole minute, no? you determine whether the heart rate is synchronous with the pulse rate. Okay, so dapat hirap at the same time. Huh? If your heart rate is 87, pwede 86, tapos 87, the same. But if your heart rate is much higher than your pulse rate, so something is different, especially if there is irregularity. No, for it here, my atrial fibrillation. Okay. So, do you know how to get the JVP? How do you get the JVP? Um, the first mode of the patient uh, must be in supine position, but in a 30 degrees. And put a ruler, perpendic ruler perpendicular to a sternal angle. Then we will, I will locate now the um, the impulse of internal jugular vein. And kunhain man po an maximal impulse on inter, internal jugular vein, um, it per perpendicular ko ha roller, then it may measure ko po ha roller po. Okay, so what's the normal? Do you know what's the normal JVP? Um, below 3 centimeter or below 2 centimeter. You review, ha? Look it up. What is the normal JVP? Okay. Do you have any question? So, how about in recording? In the recording, how are you going to record the your your findings? Um, for this patient, po, doc, in this case, um, inspection. Uh, you start with inspection. Uh, no malformation seen, no pectus, um, pectus excavatum, pectus carinatum seen. So no chest abnormalities. No, um, no chest abnormalities. But although, the, although that will come out during the examination of the lungs, tiba magawas ito yah dito examination of the lungs. So no abnormal pulsations. Ano pa? A dynamic precordium. Yari man yah mag magkusog, tiba. So, a dynamic precordium, no abnormal pulsations. The apex beat was located at the fifth, uh, fifth left intercostal space mid, at mid left mid trabecular line. Okay. Palpation. Um, no heaves appreciated, no, no trails. And the PMI is at the mid trabecular line. Uh, left mid trabecular line. Fifth left intercostal space. Okay. Left mid line. Yes. Okay. Auscultation. Um, for the auscultation, po, um, normal S1, S2 sounds. No. So distinct normal S1, S2. Oh, S1, S2 distinct and pretty much must be normal. Okay, accepted normal S1, S2. And then. 
And no murmurs heard. Not yet. Murmurs is the last. Heart rate is? Heart rate is? 75. Let's say 75 per minute. Regular rhythm. Regular rhythm. Regular no, rhythm. No murmurs. No murmurs. Okay. If in case your patient has a murmur, grade 2 over 6. Grade 2 over 6 murmur. Sige daw. Auscultation. Ano po daw? Just in, if in case your patient has a grade 2 over 6 systolic murmur. Ano man mo, how do you record that? How are you going to record that? Um, the murmur is not loud po. Dere, mas rin ka lang ako ang S1, S2, normal, and distinct. Distinct heart sounds. Pwede ka masin ka. Distinct heart sounds. Heart rate is 85 or 75 per minute. Regular rhythm. And then grade 2 over 6. Systolic murmur. Heard best at the sigong mitral. Heard best at the mitral area. Okay. That's how you are going to record. If your patient has ano, has Atrial fibrillation. If your patient has atrial fibrillation, mastering ka nito S1 and S2. Tingnan ka na distinct. Because distinct mangya po ito yun. Uh, heart rate is heart rate is 75 per minute. The pulse rate was tingnan ka 50 per minute. Because AF mania. Heart rate was 75 per minute, pulse rate was 55 per minute. Irregularly, irregular rhythm. No murmur. So irregularly, irregular rhythm, no murmur. Or if there is a murmur, for example, 2 over 6, you indicate where that murmur is heard best. Ano nga auscultatory area ya? Nababatianhin maupay. Ito nga nga loud gudu ya ba? Okay? Do you have any question? Any question? Question? Do you have any question? Hmm? Class. Class, do you have any question? <coughs> Hmm. Jodiel, do you have any question? None. Um, any problem? Any question? Wala ka problema? Uh, for my part po, do, wala, po na, wala na po akong question po. Okay. About the rest of the class? About the Friday group? Friday group? Hmm? And so far po, do. Okay. So, klaro ito ha? Klaro man na da? Yes po, do. Okay. So, next meeting, what are we going to do next meeting? How many meetings more before we shift? You look at your schedule. Until March 25, Doc. So, March 25 is the last. That is our last uh, meeting po, yes po. So, that would be our shifting exam, practical exam. That yes. would be our practical exam. The week before that, the week before that would be our recording. Pero pa meeting bali. How many meetings more? So, we have three meet meetings pa po daw. So three meetings. Okay, so we still have one meeting. Next meeting. 
next week. Okay, next week. Okay, if you have no more questions. Okay. Since we have no patient, we have no patient, we, are, we cannot interview patients, so we are going to adjourn. Okay. Ano, okay na kamo? Ano na kamo pakiana? Hmm? You have no more questions? Let's adjourn. Thank you, Doc. Thank you, po, Doc. Okay. Thank you, Doc. Thank you so much, Doc. Welcome.